welcome back everyone i haven't been on here in a while so it's just to an update of what stuff i got from america like honestly shopping in america is a different experience than shopping over here in the uk there's a lot of stuff that you can get in america that is similar to uk brands but for me growing up in the caribbean it's like you always had american products and that's what you kind of live by so yeah i'm just gonna go through everything that i got so first things first let us see this is one thing that i don't see in the uk which is um teeth whitening strips this crest you do see them online but then you actually don't see them in store i haven't seen them in store or anything and like i just say you know what let me just pick up some so i picked up two boxes and it's just 10 treatments so it's 20 strips, so 10 for the top, and then 10... Focus. Is it focusing? So it's 10 for the top and 10 for the bottom. And you just do a treatment, so obviously it makes your teeth whiter. That's the first thing. Let me see the next thing that I can get on to. Oh, and I've stocked up on a lot of things as well. So I don't know if a lot of you maybe use tampons, but I do use tampons and I use the more organic one. Well, they say it's organic, so I'm going to go with them saying it's um, organic. So in the UK, always brand and Tampax, they have organic ranges. But recently, I've actually seen that they kind of stopped selling um the Tampax organics. So like... I would stock up on stuff from maybe like Boots, Ocado, whoever is having it on a deal, I'll stock up on it. But for a really long time, I haven't seen anything. So when I was there, I was like, okay, let me just stock up on some stuff. Even if it's a little bit more pricier, but by the time you convert it back to pounds, it maybe works out the same price. But the thing is you get more in the packaging overseas. So I'm just going to show you. So here is like three boxes. And this is a bit crushed. But this is what it looks like. It's the Tampax. Tampax Pure Cotton. It's a super. And this one comes with 24 tampons in there. So it's not too bad. And this was $6. And I like $6.99. Because um, Target was having actual 15, there was clearance. So I don't know why they're going in clearance. Oh, my lips look dry. It's finished anyways. I need another one. But yeah, it was on clearance. I'm not sure why it's on clearance. I don't know if it's like they're discontinuing the cotton brand if it's not really selling properly, but I bought a whole ton. I said there's three here. I even put them into Ziploc baggies as well. So these should last me for a few months. Put that up there. That. That. And let's see what else I can show you. You know, I'm going to show you guys everything that I've got that I think you guys would like. But honestly, I like them. So I'm just showing you what I like. Um, oh, this is some more. This. We bought Crest, which is similar to the whiteness strips. But Crest, to be fair, it's literally the same thing like Oral B which I got over here in Savers. And now as I'm looking at the packaging, it's done by PNG. Why is it not focusing? It's done by PNG. And these ones, the Crest ones, are done by PNG as well in the US. So to be fair, the packaging is the same, like how the Oral-B ones look. but. Honestly, I just think that the toothpaste in America is much, obviously it might not be healthier, but I think it's better. It gives you a bit more of a whiter smile than this. And I think it's the same Arctic Fresh, which is the flavor, is the same as this one. And this, I can't remember how much this was. It couldn't have been more than 15 US. Obviously by the time they add tax on that as well, which is, how much was this? 
I think one single one by itself is like one ninety in savers. It's around like one. It might be a little bit more by now, but um, let's say this cost is like less than five. So this kind of works out. Maybe kind of balances itself out. Obviously, you're just paying for the individual cartons as well. But you get like the family pack or value pack, and that's three of them in there. I'm so used to the camera being that side, but it's like this side. But yeah, put that there. Put you back there. Another thing as well. Went to the Dollar Tree. I picked up a lot of stuff in the Dollar Tree. To be fair, it's not even a Dollar Tree anymore. It's a dollar twenty-five. So yeah, I did pick up a few items in there. No, I didn't pick up this from the Dollar Tree. This one was from, was it Walmart? But they used to have this, the smaller packages in um the Dollar Tree. And let me tell you, like, the pink Starburst tastes so, so good. Yeah, I can just sit down and just finish the whole bag maybe in like a few days it tastes really really good let me see some other items from the dollar tree i picked up these even then i didn't get these from maybe the 99 not 99 piece store sam's 99 piece store maybe poundland or something i don't know when you just see stuff in america you just know it's like a better quality and you can get stuff cheaper so if you want to something that's like decent quality sorry if you wanted something that was like decent quality, you'd maybe have to go like, um, um, you can go to like TK Maxx, but again, TK Maxx isn't that cheap. Well, it depends on where you go. Every place, every TK Maxx, their pricing is so different because it's based on where it's located. But yeah, this one was $2.49 and this was in Voss. It's focus on my face. Yeah, that was $2.49 and it's from Voss. Voss had a lot of nice stuff in there. But like yeah, you by the time you say, Oh yes, this is just like two pound fifty two dollars fifty cents. By the time you take it to the till, price jack up. So it's like mm, you need to cut that. Yeah, I think the tax in um in um Tampa in Florida is like seven percent or something. Yeah, but not everything is taxed. I think some food items aren't taxed or food isn't taxed. And maybe some I don't know. Yeah, some stuff aren't taxed. But yeah. I just, I just said, yeah, I wanted these spatulas because, like, I make my own body butter. Just, yeah, something I can use. Like, I know this is definitely dedicated to it. So, yeah, I bought that. <clears throat> Everything's going to go behind me. Another, yeah, so, oops. This is definitely from the Dollar Tree. So, some stuff that I got was the Arm & Hammer Essentials with naturally sourced baking soda with this um one uh, this one is simply fresh deodorant toilets and that's what it looks like these are so good i got it in the simply fresh this one is clear water did i pick up another one but yeah that's it this this one is clear water as well it's supposed to be four of them. So it must have been another bag somewhere. But yeah. And what I also picked up as well were these Clorox. So for your American and US and um America and Caribbean people, you'll know about Clorox. Like you use Clorox for everything when you're cleaning everything. So even though in the UK we do have like flash and Dettol and those kind of wipes, I don't know, I just feel much safer with a Clorox wipe, even though I still use them, but I just, it's handy. I do have the miniature Dettol, as somewhere inside here. I do have the miniature Dettol wipes that like I can take on the go, so like when I go to work or anywhere and I decide, oh, I wanna wipe down. But just the fact that I have Clorox, I feel a bit more safer. To be fair, they might be the same people that's actually making them as well. I don't know. But yeah. This was on the Dollar Tree, $1.29 for nine wipes, which isn't bad. And it's a fresh scent. How many in this one? So these ones have 30 towelettes in them. So again, not bad. Another thing that I bought, again from Clorox. It's like I'm on packaging stuff again. There's a bust of plastic. I 
And what this is, is just a toilet wand. Oh, let me show you from here. So that's just it, just a toilet wand. So it's like a kit. So it has a three in one starter kit, which gives you the wand, I think the holder. Yeah, it gives you the base. Can you see it from the end? So you get the wand, you get the base, and then you get some of the pads as well. Let's see what else is on there. Mm. So instead of you having that normal toilet brush, is it flushable? I think they're flushable. They're not, I don't think they're flushable or disposable. Mm. I'm the one who bought it. I'm still looking at it like I don't know what I bought. But yeah, <laughs> I bought this to so put in the toilet and then bought the refills as well. So each refill comes with is a 20 count. That's what it looks like. Again, I just left everything in the boxes. Cause you know what? You just want to have it still looking. Yeah, American products in my house. This is just it. So I got two of them. And so that's just them. Next, I got a throw. And this is from the company Berkshire Blanket and Home Co. Let's see if you can see it. And let me tell you, this stuff. Even though I have this one, this one isn't um a Berkshire. This one, I can't remember where I got this from. This one was from America, right? It might have been from like JC Penny or Macy's or something, but Berkshire. I don't know. On touching it, it feels so soft and luxurious, but then I don't know how it will handle when it's washed. But hopefully it still keeps that softness when it's washed. But to be fair, when you wash stuff over here, because of like the different fabric softeners and detergents that you use sometimes your clothes come out feeling a bit funny well when you wash by hand it definitely feels different from when you wash it in the washing machine but when it's cold over here nobody have time to be washing by hand to try and put on um the racks and so on to dry because by the time you try to wring that out by hand your hands tired so i prefer to maybe like do a little bit of hand washing during the summertime but we'll see i can't wait to use this and this one is a uh, 90 by 90 inches so it's pretty big and i bought this one when i ordered it when it's on sale it was down to 30 30 dollars i think it's 30 35 but usually like 60 something 60 plus but this one was like 30 either 30 or 35 but we bought two of them so yeah that's just it you just go there Another thing that I picked up was the Ole Retinol Body Wash. And that's what it looks like. So this one you use at night. So it's a hydrating body wash. Our advanced form infused with retinol and vitamin B3 complex. Penetrates skin surface with moisture, over, with moisture overnight so you can wake up renewed, youthful looking skin. Mmm. So the direction said to use nightly, lather with puff and rinse. Let me see what it smells. I didn't say smell it. Again, this was inside um Target. I bought this one. I wanted the lotion as well to go with it, but I don't know. You couldn't find the lotion. You couldn't find the lotion in Target. You couldn't find it in Walmart. You couldn't even find it in CVS down the road. So it's like, oh, uh, do I really want to order it online? But yeah, obviously I didn't order it. So let me just see what it smells like. It's not really that thick. What does it smell like? Um, it smells like lotion. But it's, it has that, um, should have taken off the tape, you know. But it has that, you know how Ole smells the cream? It still has that smell. Maybe, obviously, proprietary. That's how this stuff normally smells. Yeah, just throw it all over the place. But yeah, that's what it looks like again. It's just blue and gold. And that's 
set. I'm not gonna fling you on the bed. I'm just gonna leave you here. As I said, I picked up the hydrate, um, the hyaluronic one as well. But this one actually came in the body wash and the lotion. So this one is the lotion, and this one is the body wash. So just put that there, and then that one as well. That's what it looks like. Honestly, can't wait to use them because like they're so hyped over social media. So just uh, this one says nourish, uh, nourishes with deep moisture in one use, and this is just the body lotion. This one. Restores hydration for visibly nourished skin. So what done this? You know? So this one you can use throughout the day because it just says lather with puff and rinse. So it's not like the retinol one that you need to use it at night. Obviously, most likely to put it, um. So like when you go out into the sun, it doesn't burn your skin or anything. But most likely you need to wear sunscreen anyways. This one says fine line. What does it? Oh, fill line. <laughs> I don't know, I'm like, I'm high for it. I'm nice at focusing properly. So let me just put those to the side. Another thing that I picked, to be fair, most of my stuff came from Target, Ross, Dollar Tree. We didn't really go to, we went to Walmart, but because you picked up so much stuff inside of Target already, Walmart was more for like food items. And honestly, as I said before, shopping there is like on a different level. It's not like over here, like Sainsbury's and Tesco's. Yeah, they have those mega stores that you can go and get like um clothing and electricals and some like the stores in America is like like double the size of mega stores over here, and like you get everything. It's like it's like mini Costco's or something. You know, when you go into Costco's or Macros, you go inside they have like lounge chairs and like all those kind of bits and pieces. It's like you can get like um engine things what do you call it La, what, what do you think in car like motor oil and those kind of stuff you can get those stuff inside the supermarket i think you can get it in the supermarkets over here maybe i don't know i'm not looking for them in there you most likely get it from a garage or online or something but yeah we just picked up most stuff in one place because we're like ubering here in there so it's like as much as we can get in one place we just did that and get rid of that so another thing that i picked up I know I'm gonna get like, I don't know if you guys are gonna comment and say anything, but if you guys have actually tried Dawn, it's just liquid soap. Again, it's made from the brand PG, Procter & Gamble. At this point, I think maybe I just love using their products. Even though in the UK, we have Fairy Liquid. I think Fairy Liquid is the only liquid soap that we have because I haven't really seen any other brands obviously if you have like go to marks and spencers or waitrose or tesco's and um sainsbury's they would have their own brands but i think as for branded dish soap i think it's only fairy ever i've only known but yeah but i don't know again with dawn it's like this stuff just cuts to anything it's like some kind of miracle soap and i didn't just buy one i bought one <clears throat> two three and you know what else i picked up right, is this bigger yeah this one is a bigger so what size is it so they're not all the same sizes you know what they're still gonna be used on dishes anyways and you know what else is nice the actual spray bottle so like when you spray it comes out like that um that foam boy honestly i can't wait to start using them put that to the side let me bring you a little closer you know it's on another level in the states as well medication medication is on a different level the only medication i really take is a leave so i always stock up on my leave when i go to america and i actually found like a travel size one instead of me taking again it's in my bag Lord. It's, it's a smaller one to this like the one that i have in my bag is like the 24 count which is still big so it's not like if, or if i go clubbing or something and i decide oh, i might need a painkiller or, or something i don't have a travel size um to take in my bag but now that i actually found the travel size version 
I put in this in my bag. Everywhere that I go, yes, all I do is just refill it, and boom, I'm gone. But as I was saying, with Aleve, it might just be a placebo effect for me, but Aleve is like the strongest medication that I've tried. And let me say this, right? I have period pains, and they are really bad to the point of like, I have to try and come, like when my friends and so on see me, I'm like double over in pain, I can't move, all these kind of stuff is like made dead. And like, I've been to the doctor, they prescribed me um painkillers, like maybe the strongest painkillers and them painkillers ain't doing me nothing. I'm like, I need to pop more than one. When they say, oh, you need to take one every 12 hours. I'm like, look here, right? <laughs> this one painkiller, it ain't to touch anything. So it's like, I need to take multiple in order to have some kind of relief so it's like nah from the time that i tried taking a leave now i used to take um what's the other one advil i don't really advil doesn't do anything for me but i leave now this like a blue pill again i don't know if it's a placebo effect but it's like as soon as they take it like within 10 minutes maybe less than 10 minutes you don't have the pain anymore. Like, even people that I've given, if somebody at work says, oh, if I have any pain, like, I'm like, I have an American brand. It's similar to, like, ibuprofen or something, but it's stronger. And even, I tell them, make sure you read. I give them the bottle and make sure, tell them to read it first so that they know what they're taking. To be fair, we're taking these painkillers over here. We don't know where it is really, unless when they're hooked up on these drugs, then I, I'm assuming these people should know what they're taking. But for us... We ain't no. We just as long as it's. I think these are muscle relaxers. Yeah, even when I'm having a cold or something, I think I diverted a bit. But yeah, even when my my um coworkers ask me or anybody asks me for a painkiller and I give it to them, they're saying, "Wow, these like it works so quickly compared to whenever they take ibuprofen, Nurofen, and what they call it, cocodamine, all these strong like." Yeah, I don't know what these painkillers are made of, but again, it works so well. But my partner, he says it's a muscle relaxer, so it might be that's what the thing is. And obviously, he takes medication, so he knows what the scientific terms are. So, and again, when I have a cold as well, which is very rare, I would like take two of them and just go to sleep and make sure like I'm wrapped up so I start to sweat it out and I'm good to go. So that's my leave. I stocked up on them. This one is a 90 count and I bought this one back for someone. So that's going to go to them. Another thing that I bought, I know over here we have our detergents and everything. I don't know. I just love it. And this one is the Arm and Hammer with Oxyclean. So this one is with odor blast. It's five in one power pass. Eliminates tough odors, attacks stains, whitens white brightens colors and scent boosters so literally i don't need to put in um what they call it you know those lenore unstoppable the scent beads i don't need to put that into my wash this is the only thing i put into my wash and some that's all that's it that's all i wash with and the thing is i stuck to one five of them so one two oh these are more of the tampons three four so that's two in here there's another one so it's five of them i picked up so it might be over there or it might be in one of these bags here but yeah i just stuck up on them and with these ones yeah look the other one here it's right in front of my eyes you know so one two three four five Stuff. and you can even smell it oh it smells so good and it's like when i wash my clothes if it's a full load i'm doing i'll use two capsules if it's like half a load i'll only use one because to me it does wash clothes you know like something when you wash your clothes the arm um, doesn't really wash properly but these ones i haven't really obviously deal but yeah I haven't, when I've washed my clothes with these capsules, I don't smell any bio still left in the arms and like, it isn't like a, like a white cast there, like it hasn't penetrated properly. But yeah, oh, I need to show you guys. I'll try and insert a little clip as to what it looks like, but it's basically, it's how this looks. 
that's what it looks like and this one is the it's a 42 pack so i think this is similar to what's the what's the detergents over here the detergent pods it might be is it fairy no it's not fairy i think they have detergent pods over here but again i'm not interested in them i used to use small which is like an organic thing and i think i'll still use them but for now i got stocked up on these this will last for maybe at least maybe two years if i don't wash that often but yeah i'm very funny when it comes to washing i i, I need to use this so yeah these are that let me see what else this is the last bag that i'm gonna show and this again is just some stuff the more things from the dollar tree this is another one that i said that was missing which is a simply fresh and the other one was like what or something i can't remember again i bought these cut nails which is just like wipes so just leave them in my bag for whenever I go to the toilets or anything I have some wipes with me I know I can buy them over here which is Andrex or the wet wipes but again I don't know what it is with the American thing they might be again a placebo effect or something but these are actually more moisture than the Andrex and so that we get over here the little travel size one so I stocked up on a few of them which is just four so it's not gonna last that long but yeah Oh, and another thing that I picked up is emergency C. Let me tell you, I don't know what is in this again. These American products, but whenever you have a quality, you take some vitamin C. Two days later, when you take this, in my opinion, when I take this, two days later with the painkiller, I don't have the, the cold gone. It's just like the little remnant. So by the time I go to sleep, wrapped up in the painkiller, take this. In the morning, take another one. In the night, take another one. The next day, take another one. Not the painkillers, these ones. I don't know. It's like the pain. I don't know what's in there. If it's just vitamin C alone or what it is, but it works. I do like it. And again, I bought a big packet, so this should last us a few months, provided that we don't catch cold. So it's more around winter time. We're gonna start. I think more going into summer. We're gonna catch cold because like today it was sunny and then it started raining and hail and all kind of craziness so for us who say oh it's sunny outside and we go outside without any jacket obviously we catch fat there yeah. but yeah that's one of the items another thing that i bought i stuck up on these a lot but to be fair they actually have changed like i keep on thinking the cameras that's always this side to be fair, I've stocked up on these ones, but they've actually changed it. So this one again was from Target. And these are just like um facial buffer. So I exfoliate my face every day. And that's what it looks like. It's just like little pads. But again, from what I used to buy from years ago, the texture has definitely changed. And when you use it, like it starts to because you're just using circling motion, it starts to kind of like thin out. So the ones that I used to have maybe at least two, three years ago was a bit tougher than these thinner ones. Target, please bring back the old materials. So I bought one, two, three, four, five of them and they each come with 12 in there. So this technically should last me for at least five years if I'm using one every month. But yeah, that's some. Another thing that I bought, again, we can get over here in the UK, but I don't know, it just feels as though it's better from the States. And these are the Scrub Daddy. And these ones are the, the Scrub Daddy Sheets Eraser. No, Sheets Eraser Daddy with scrubbing gems. It's just water activated. It's longer lasting, flexibly eraser. So I'm assuming like when we have like tough, like, you know, when you do, like, grease stains and so on, it should be, be able to, like, psh, 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 cut through it. <laughs> but, yeah, I just bought one. Again, six of them comes in this one. And I just I just bought two of them. And that's it. I'm going to show you... There's some more items I got from the Dollar Tree, but I'm not going to show you all of them because this is getting a bit lengthy. So I'm just going to show you this last thing. I don't know how much of you actually remember these sweets. 
but it's the strawberry sweet. Hope you can see it. Yeah. Yeah, the strawberry sweets that have the the gooey center. When I was growing up, right? When you had these sweets, it was like luxury. You know how when you have those um the butter, the Danish cookies, and like whenever you saw it, obviously by the time you open it, it was like sewing stuff or it was like used to store it. So whenever you actually got the cookies, you felt really good. Whereas the same with this one, whenever we got these sweets, again you can just back these back like like nothing. So just like how the strawberry starburst, the same with these ones. These are so good. And they're hard candy as well. Right, it's hard candy, but with the gooey center. I'm sure we have something similar over here. But again, I prefer to go to the States and buy all my bits and pieces. So like, again, you get like um turkey sausage. Obviously, it's not here. It's not here. We got like turkey sausages, turkey bacon. We do have turkey bacon in the UK, but it's obviously like different but yeah these are all the items that i picked up while i was in the states but it's like as i said like some stuff in america is just so much better than the uk in my opinion like for example the toothpaste even as the same people that make it i just think that the ones in america is so much stronger and the fact of like it's png that makes oral what is it oral b yeah, that makes oral B, but yet still, they have tea whitening strips in America, but then I've never seen them being sold. They might have them in like super jugs or um, boots, but I've never actually seen them unless they're like in cages or something. But like in Target, they're just on the shelf, like like not next to the toothbrush, but it's in little, um, what do they call them? You know those security glass thing. So you know when you buy alcohol, it has that security tag thing. It's in these areas, so I'm assuming people must be teeth in them as well. But yeah, it's just so hard to think that like in America, they sell all these different varieties. But in the UK, it's like we're limited to certain things. I think it's because like the UK is a bit more regulated than um, the States when it comes to like medication and those kind of stuff and maybe things in general. But yeah, those are all the things that I bought. So I hope you enjoyed the video. You know what to do, like, comment and subscribe. And until next time, bye guys.